Hey kids, it's Pastor Sean. Last Wednesday, Christians all over the world observed Ash Wednesday. <laughs> and that kicks off the season of Lent. Ew! No, not Lent, Lent. Now, if you've spent any time around church, you might have heard of this season. Yeah, isn't that that time when we can't have chocolate or candy or fun? <laughs> well, no. Lent is actually much deeper than that. Lent is a season in the church year that stretches from Ash Wednesday to Easter Sunday. This season is a time to reflect, pray, and be a bit more honest about when we mess up so that we can get our hearts ready for Easter and Jesus' resurrection. Okay, but like, where in the Bible is Lent? Uh, well, the actual season doesn't show up in the Bible. Well, I'm out. Okay, so it doesn't show up in our scripture like we know it today. But in the Bible, the people of God often have seasons or periods of preparing themselves for new beginnings, and they often lasted 40 days or 40 years. Once Noah and the ark were prepared for a new creation, it rained for 40 days. When the Israelites escaped Egypt to travel to the Holy Land, they wandered for 40 years. And when it came time for Jesus to start his work, he spent 40 days in the wilderness, preparing and fasting. Talk to the hand, cause I'm in the wilderness. And it's because of those 40 days Jesus spent fasting that you see some Christians giving something up for Lent. Because fasting doesn't always have to do with food. Well, that's good because I really can't give up food. You can fast from a certain type of food like candy or ice cream, or from certain practices like watching television or social media or video games. But why, why do we give something up? It's not because God wants us to be sad and miserable. It's because by giving something up, we can make more room for God in our lives. We take the time and the energy we would have spent playing those video games or making that ice cream sundae, and we spend it on God by praying, reading our Bibles, spending time with our friends from church school. And if you really, really don't want to give something up, you can try adding something new like writing a letter every day to someone in our church family who is lonely. Just like how those 40 days of rain prepared Noah and the creatures in the ark to restart creation, or how the 40 days in the wilderness prepared Jesus to begin his really important work, our 40 days prepare us to experience the full wonder and excitement of Easter. Lent isn't about saying no to something. Instead, it's about saying yes to spending more time with God and with God's people. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for giving us time to slow down and spend more time with you. Help us to make room for you in our lives. And we all say, Amen.